Good morning everyone, welcome back on site. It's D-Day. It's D-Day, D-Day, D-Day. Today we are knocking this out. So we did our acros yesterday as you saw. All our supports and that. Today we're going to be breaking this all down. That's the plan for today. And possibly, if we can, shifting one of these steels, the lower one, into position. So that's what we're going to try and get done today. But at minimal is to get this wall open. So we're taking it all the way from this side of the house all the way down to the bathroom window up to the to where the acros are so that door to be honest is not really that bad we've got a window and a door and it's just the brickwork pretty much in between to do so yeah once we get that out we've got to clear all the rubble as well we're going to get it here and then we can get our grab truck in to sort of clear this for us get that steel in tomorrow we've got a genie lift coming and then we'll be using that to try and get the other three steels in and get everything bolted up and hopefully by tomorrow we have got this sort of frame in supporting ready for concrete the next day so let's see how we get on today if you haven't seen these steels before let me show you them again they're absolutely huge let's do some measurements here just to give you some perspective so if you look at the size of this steel here hard to tell but this is two centimeters these are two centimeters thick which is about uh six apes maybe something like that if i'm correct in inches they are about 27 centimeters thick in both directions uh all of the steels are exactly the same size and um yeah the bolts are absolutely huge so fun times this is supposed to be somewhere in the region of four to five hundred kgs kilograms that is about someone correct me maybe i don't know 700 pounds or something stupid like that maybe even more uh and then these are somewhere like 300 kilograms so happy days well we got young josh here he's the he's the gym man fitness expert <laughs> going back to college tomorrow yeah so we'll manage this anyway let's start it Alright guys, so it's halfway through the day and um, we managed to get the outer leaf pretty much out and uh, we just had lunch and now we're back on to the inner life, inner leaf, sorry, sorry about the noise guys, um, I haven't got my microphone with me at the moment so the sound might be a little bit crappy but bear with us, it's quite windy today but yeah, we're going to start off with the bathroom side, I'll show you what, what we're doing. Mr. A is just knocking some of these out. So the hard part of the wall is done. We had to obviously we've cut all these headers, so which means now that's easier to sort of knock the inner leaf out because they're all broken. And you can see these older houses, no lintels or no concrete lintels at least, just a literally a timber lintel. There's also a timber lintel for that window there behind the soldier course. There's also a timber lintel there again on those doors. And then the outer leaf just has that vertical soldier course. And that's pretty much it. 
so now I was looking at this this wall looks like there was maybe some sort of chimney here maybe I'm not sure um, which leads me to believe that's the reason why we put in a box frame in because some people or some way you could have done it is basically had the steel sitting on this wall sitting on that wall but if this was a chimney which looks like a lot of soot here then that would explain why we wouldn't be allowed to put a steel on that wall because once you've had a chimney here the wall has basically been compromised so you can't really support it with the load of the house so basically i'm assuming that's why we've gone to this box frame or at least the architect has done that yeah so guys i'm gonna get back to this sorry back to the time lapse Well, it's been a fun and dusty day. A little bit scary as well, to be honest. Now nah, we were right. We did really well today. We managed to get pretty much all our our works, our walls down. Um, just a little bit of foundation we need to remove now to get the steel in tomorrow, and a little bit more cleaning up with the rubble. So let me just show you guys what we did, and just run through what we've got to do tomorrow. So this is our opening guys as you can see the whole back is open ready for our steels so we've managed to move all of that of bricks and bags of rubble we still got more to do today to uh, tomorrow so basically tomorrow this was one of our concrete pad holes which is full of rubble so we've got to clear it out first thing tomorrow we've already cleared this one cleared this one out as you can see that pad here so what we need to do tomorrow is we've got to this is basically where the steel is going to be sitting here so we need to clear this little bit of bricks and take it down the foundation down 300 mil that center section here again we need to take it down 300 mil so that the steel can drop down inside there and the same thing for that last piece of corner under where the bathroom window was so yeah once we clear dig that out tomorrow with the breaker and clear it all out we are going to attempt there's going to probably be three of us tomorrow we've got mj with us we're going to shimmy this steel here and drop it down into the hole and support it underneath and get it to the height that we want and once we've done that we plan to move two of these smaller ones we put one vertically over there one vertically over there bolt it to the bottom plate and then we should just be having our genie lift coming tomorrow if we get that far we shimmy another steel over to here get it on the genie lift and we lift it up and we bolt it up that end and we bolt it on that end and then we start screwing to the walls so that's tomorrow's plan so hopefully by tomorrow or tomorrow is thursday i think at least by friday i hope we should have the steel in fingers crossed and everything goes according to plan so i hope you guys enjoyed today's update and today's video and the progress so let us know what you think and um we see you guys here tomorrow take care